Okay, so we're back. What I want us to do in this video is we're gonna take the next step. So now that we have this column grid and our levels set up, we're gonna go ahead and get some columns inserted. Let's get some of these structural components moving along. So the first thing we need to do is we need to insert the families that we need. So if we just come up here to our structural tab, and if we click on the column tool, if we just come down here and focus on this contextual ribbon down here at the end, you're gonna see a couple things that we wanna do. The first thing we wanna do is load family. I know that we need two specific columns, so we're gonna load those. If I come out to load, and we're just going to click on our columns, you'll see these columns are actually the architectural columns. So we wanna back out one here. And we're gonna come down on the list to our structural columns. These are the ones we were looking for. Now we're gonna click on steel and we need two columns. The first one we want is a wide flange column. So I'm gonna open up this here and now you're gonna see it brings me into my type catalog and we can find the size that we need or the size is that we need. The first size that we're looking for is a W12 by 53. So if you just scroll down your list until you find it and you'll see they're in order. So if I just click on this W12 by 53, I can hit OK here. Now I know, yes, we want to just go ahead and overwrite what's in the project by default. But now if I click on my properties drop down, you should see that 12 by 53 Y flange column. I want to go ahead before we start inserting them and just get the other columns that we need loaded. Okay, so our next column that we want to load is actually our tubular steel five inch by five inch by quarter inch. So let's load family, come out here to our structural columns, click in steel again, and we're gonna go ahead and open this family here for our hollow structural section column family. And you'll see our sizes in here once again for this family. And we just wanna scroll all the way down till we see our five by five by quarter inch. Here it is. So we're just gonna click okay and insert this one as well. All right, so now let's get these columns placed. How do we go about doing that? The next step. So now we're already in our place structural column tool. We just wanna come up here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select grids. So at grid intersections is where I wanna insert this first column grid. I wanna make sure the type is correct. So we're gonna insert our interior ones first, which or this W12 by 53. We're going to change our option to height from the first floor, and we're going to go to top of steel. And then I'm going to click on at grids. So the next thing we're going to do is just select our grids in here. And if I zoom in, now that I have them selected, you'll see the these wide flange 12 by 53 columns have been inserted, but they're grayed out. I do need to select finished, and then you'll see that they bold face, which means they're now inserted into our model, and that command is complete. I wanna point out, you can insert these one at a time, just going to the grid intersection, and you can actually use the space bar before you even place them if I need to orient, orient them in a different direction. That's how you go about doing that. But our, we know around our exterior, we actually need to use the tubular steel column that we had inserted as well. So if I just come out here and pick that 
five inch by five inch by quarter inch steel column. Same thing I can use at grid intersections. And if I use that and select here, you'll see I get those. And I can click finish there. And I'm going to do this a couple more times just to give myself what I'm looking for. So you see I've placed these. Let's do this again over here. And since these are all the same column type, we are good to go. And I'll click finish one more time. Now let's create a 3D view so that we can take a look at this, what we've done so far. So up here in my quick access toolbar, you'll see the default 3D view. If I just click on this and zoom in, you can see that I have my tubular steel around the exterior with my wide flange columns in the center as they're carrying more of the interior weight have a little bit heavier load on them so they're sized appropriately. Let's take a look at an elevation view. And I just want to point out to you, when I look at this in an elevation view by default, if you look at the bottom of my screen, you'll see that the detail level is actually coarse here. So you're seeing it in almost a schematic way. If I change this to a medium, you begin to see more the outline of the actual column boundary and so on. So my medium and fine are gonna give me a more accurate depiction of the actual columns. I hope this video has been helpful for you.